Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Iman. Welcome. And today's video is just on this look and my New Year's resolutions for 2017. Um, I try... <laughs> this guy I used to know, he was like, I don't make New Year's resolutions because I just don't. I don't... I don't like to. Um, and I'm just like, I don't know. I don't... I don't per se believe in resolutions, I guess, but like... You guess you could call them New Year's resolutions as just a different way to say that like, they're your goals for the new year, per se. Um, so for me, mine this year are to just be a little bit more healthier. I definitely did not take care of my health last year. I was eating junk food, and I'm pretty sure I gained like five pounds, which isn't a big deal because weight is weight. It's whatever. It can come off, and it can go back on. doesn't matter. Um, just that type of thing. Another goal is to like become a little bit more successful on YouTube. And by successful I mean like just getting more content up, not getting like a ton of subscribers, like a million subscribers in one year. That'd be great. But I just want to work on getting like just easy, obtainable goals for my YouTube channel. So hopefully I can get to maybe a thousand by, I don't know, May. Like that's, that's probably one of my goals for YouTube this year. Um, another goal for myself, I think, would be just becoming more in, just going more into my studies, like becoming more, uh, I guess, dedicated, I guess, to my studies. Last year was a year for me in terms of school, so I'm really just trying to get back on the horse and become more dedicated. School is is a blessing. Some people don't even get to go to school because it is so expensive, and my parents get to pay from pay for me to go to school. So. Um, that's definitely a thing that I'm, I'm like top of my list for myself this year is just becoming coming a little bit more, um, putting my school work a little bit first. And that's another goal I would say is to become more social. I mean, I think coming out of my box should be another term, a better term for um, what I'm trying to say. It's like just doing things that I wouldn't, I don't feel comfortable doing, getting out of my comfort zone just a little more and YouTube actually is um, a step in that process. What else? I wrote this down, hold on, let me go look at it. Oh yeah, another resolution is being more financially stable. I am not good with my money whatsoever and I will tell you that right now. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a girl who loves to eat. So if you look at my bank statement, it more than likely just says that I went to this restaurant or went to this new restaurant. So I'm definitely gonna try and work on my finances this year a lot more because let's be honest I'm gonna be a senior like that and I'm not trying to be out of college with absolutely no money to my name like if we saw my bank account right now I'd be like you need to slow down but yeah um I think that's all of my resolutions uh, I I'm sure I have more but at the moment those are the ones that are like on my brain as of right now. Tell me what your New Year's resolutions are in the comments below. And yeah, maybe we can work on them together. Let's get a little plan going, you know, so we can actually achieve them. But onto my makeup look, if you wanna see how I got this fresh year, new year to me, I guess, kind of look, then um, just keep watching. Okay, so like I normally do, I already primed my face and I did my eyebrows off camera. A new thing that I did though involving primers is that I used the sample that I got from I think Sephora and it's the Photo Finish Foundation Primer by Smashbox. I look flawless, the, everything is just smoothed over. I think it's a, it's a silicone based primer because it felt pretty silicone-y I guess. Um, but yeah, it's great. I give a, from the little sample that I got, 100%, 10 out of 10. It's good. I'm like right in front of my window right now and like the sun is like peeking through so throughout the video I'm probably gonna be like having tree shadows in my face. Anyway, so after I primed my face, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna color correct a little bit and I'm gonna use the City Color Collection color correctors. Uh, I'm gonna use the green one for obviously red marks and then I'm gonna use the orange one for my under eyes. I don't normally color correct because it's one, a lot of work and I don't usually like taking too much time doing my makeup unless I have like a whole day to myself. I'm like, ooh, let's go play in some makeup. But um, since I do have time, I'm gonna color correct. Since I have a primer like right under my uh, color correctors, I really don't think I need to blend it out with a beauty blender, but I think I'm gonna do it anyway just to be safe. 
Okay, so once I color correct, I'm gonna go in with my foundation, which is a new one that I just got while I was on vacation. Um, I actually went to a Makeup Forever store in France, and I've never seen one of those before, so that was really like stoked when we went in. And they were like, it was actually really funny because like none of them spoke English, most of them didn't, so it was like, can uh, you color match me? And they're like, hmm. I was like, um, I don't know. But uh, while I was there, I got a new foundation. I got a the Step One uh, primers, the mattifying one, and I got a, a pro finish makeup powder. Yeah, to you know set the face or just give you a little bit more coverage. I won't be using this one in my video today because I'm not trying to go for a full like covered look. I'm just trying to go for like a natural new first you know New Year's like fresh start look. So, um, obviously I'm not going to use the primer today because I already primed, but I'll probably use these in another video and kind of use this as my first impressions for those, but as of right now, this will be my first impression, so let's see how well this works out. So it has the pump kind of like the MAC foundation one does that they give you. Actually, looks exactly like it, actually. Um, and I'm in the shade Y435, and it says, shake it before you use it. Okay, let me shake it up, girl. Oh, this is based in France. That's awesome. I definitely did not know that this was based in Paris, France. That's lit. Here, let me do this. Let me try it. One side with a Real Technique sponge. And then I'll use the other side with like a Kabuki brush. Okay, so first side, which is my right side, your left, I think. I don't know, so we're gonna start on the right side. And of course, this foundation is obviously not new. This thing has been out forever. This is, I'm pretty sure, the new formula. I've never tried the old formula ever. So, as of right now, new formula is A1. It's looking. Ooh. Okay, so let's do the other side. I'm gonna brush it. Okay, so let's buff that in. I like grab my ears for support. Ooh. Um. I don't know which one I like better. I think they it blends out with very well with both. Um, make a sponge and the kabuki brush. I have no complaints on which one or anything bad to say for which type does better. I think they both do really well. Um, I think since I have my Real Techniques sponge with me all the time, I'm more than likely to be using the Real Techniques more. But this isn't a review video, I guess. And it is. A1. A1. Buy it. So to go, obviously, with your fresh new. New year, new look, you know, saying fresh for the new year. Then you're gonna wanna do your under eye. Obviously, I'm not gonna keep this orange stuff under my eye. Um, but you don't wanna be getting like too bright because you're not going to no party. You're just trying to look like, ah, oh, it's a new year. I'm getting ready, I'm like, I'm ready to get it started. So I'm gonna take my Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. Are we just keeping up with high depth today? From LA Girl in the shade Medium Beige. Oh, my dad just got and we're just gonna put that right where we had laid the orange concealer. And you don't wanna bring it down too far because you're not, like you're saying, you're not trying to look like you're going to a party or anything. Unless you prefer to do it like that, then by all means, go ahead and do it. But conceal under the eye just as a little bit. Now you know while I'm here, I'll put it down the bridge of my nose. And out you the cap of my head. And my chin. We do a cookie bow a little bit and then around my nose area. Look, the sun's like going down, so I'm like getting slowly darker. We're gonna blend that out. And then I'm just gonna bring it onto my eyelids, that concealer that I put on. Because we're not doing an eye look, we're just doing, like I said, the fresh new look for the year. And we're just gonna like spread that just on top of it so it's like a base. After I finish uh, putting that on my eyelid, I'm gonna go and just set the rest of my face and my under eyes, more importantly, with my Dulce de Leche um, from Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. 
And I'm not going heavy because, like I said, I want this to look real just fresh. And I use that color to brighten under my eyes just a tad and not too much. And then I go and I take my Cotty powder from, I got this at Walmart for like, like six bucks or so. And I'm gonna put that in all the places where I get extremely oily. Take the little flat edge of my beauty, my real technique sponge, excuse me. And I just put it right there. And you're right here. And lastly, right here. And if I have excess, I just dust it out. Then once I get done setting, I'm gonna go in with my butter bronzer and I'm just gonna slightly contour the face. Not really, just a soft contour, nothing too major. Just to make it seem like you've got that like that natural that you really don't. Then put that on top of your head too. And then I'm gonna drag it right here as well, under my chin bone. Look, I got a chiseled chin. God, I just love this bronzer. So then once you finish that, you just wanna buff everything else out and then go in with the highlight. I'm not gonna use a blush because I think that I naturally, in my opinion, I naturally look nice without putting a blush on. It does add a cute little toop to your face, but for this look, for the fresh New Year look, I'm just gonna keep it with my highlight and a bold lip. So then I'm gonna take my beauty sponge or my real tight ink sponge and I'm just gonna put the highlight that I got from ColourPop, the Super Shock Cheek um, in the shadow Wisp, which I have used in all my other videos. And I'm just gonna put those on the high points of my cheek on. You got that natural highlight, baby. Take it on the tip of my nose also. And right on the Koopa's bow. Boom. So since I put um, the concealer color also onto my lid. I have lids that will crease because they get oily. So I'm gonna go in and you know buff out any lines that had created over the time that I was doing my face. And then I'm gonna set it with Free Spirit in my Tarte palette. And I'm just gonna take this concealer brush that I got and I'm just gonna dip it in there and just set that lid right there. Okay, so then once I set my eyes, I'm gonna go with my Mad Lash Mascara by The Balm, which I've been using all the time lately, and I'm just gonna do my eyelashes. <laughs> this mascara is The Balm. <laughs> okay, and then to finish off the look, I'm gonna do my lips, and I'm gonna use this eyebrow pencil to line them, and I got it in my Ipsy bag. And then I'm going to put on my color. And then to fix this crazy lip look that I got going on right now, I'm gonna use the same color I used in my last video. The It doesn't have a name on it, it's just a, a matte lip color, uh, liquid lipstick that I got from a friend and I'm just gonna put that right on the top. <laughs> okay, and this is the final look. The fresh year, new year, new me, I guess you wanna call it that look. Um, I had fun filming it, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, then the button is right down below. You know what to do. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.